Welcome. This video gives a brief uh, intro in using WebWork. Um, first, the, what we'll do is sign in. Uh, here at uh, UWL, uh, we're going to assume that we have a student whose email address is samplestudent at uwlax.edu. So if that's the email address, uh, what you use for the username is just that part before the at sign. And the password is actually not the password used for any other campus resource. The password is exactly the same thing. It's the same as username. So type in S-A-M-P-L-E-S-T-U-D-E-N-T, -E or of course, whatever your particular uh, username would be. So I click continue to log in. And uh, what you'll see uh, here is a list of several homework assignments. Um, in this particular example, there's only one assignment. Your instructor might have several assignments ready to go, or you might only see one assignment here. So let's take a look at that first assignment, which has a due date of January 16th. Click here, and there are 10 problems in this assignment. We're just going to go through the first problem just to talk about how this is done. Uh, here's the question. Find all zeros of the function x squared minus 5x minus 14. So to find the zeros, what we should do is, well, think of the graph. We're looking for the x-intercepts, in essence. Um, that's where the y-coordinate, or where f of x is 0. So we should set the f of x here equal to 0. And w then we'd have x squared minus 5x minus 14 equals 0. Okay, So let's write that problem down. We have x squared uh, minus 5x minus 14 is equal to 0. Is equal to excuse me is equal to zero. I just want to go back to the web and check that that was written down correctly. X squared minus five x minus fourteen equals zero. Okay. Um, there are probably several ways to do this, but I think one surefire technique that will work is to use the quadratic formula. Here we should use um, a is the hidden number in front of x squared. That's one. Um, b here would be uh, negative 5. And for c, we'd have from right here that c would equal negative 14. So basically, we're trying to just solve this equation. We're trying to figure out uh, for this equation, what could you plug in for x um, for all the x's so that the left side would equal the right side? Uh, we can use a quadratic formula here. So we'd have x is equal to negative b, so that would be uh, negative negative 5. We'll just already write that as a positive 5. Then the formula says that there's a plus or minus. And then we have root um, five, uh, negative 5 quantities, excuse me, squared. Now, it won't really matter with the minus sign here. Um, minus then 4 times a, which is 1. We almost shouldn't write that times 1 and then times negative 14. And this is all divided by uh, 2 times a, so 2 times 1. And you don't have to really simplify further if you don't want to. We'll just do a little bit because it will uh, make things a little easier for us. So here um, we could say x is equal to uh, 5 plus or minus square root, and here negative 5 quantity squared. That's negative 5 times negative 5. That's the same thing as just 5 squared. You could write 25 as well. But I just want to kind of demonstrate a couple other features, <coughs> excuse me, of the software we're looking at. And same here. I mean, the minus and the minus multiplied together to give a positive. We might as well simplify that. It'll make uh, things a little bit easier, but then, you know, times 1, I guess we don't need to write that, but then we have 4 times 14. There's no need even to, to do that math by hand. Just write, you know, 4 times 14 like this, and then this is all over 2. So this is a, you know, a reasonably, right here, this is a reasonably simplified answer. Um, and you can, now there's actually two solutions, right? One where uh, you use the plus sign here, and one where you use the minus sign. And you can go ahead and start typing such a thing into web work, um, but I actually think it's a little easier to use. Uh, here I'm on a Windows computer, so I'm using Notepad or whatever text editor you have. Um, and just start typing because there's two answers which are quite similar, right? So there's 
Uh, here's the numerator, you know, 5 plus uh, square root of 5 squared plus 4 times 14. All the spaces are optional in a sense, and then divided by 2. Now there's something wrong with this answer as it's written right now because right here this division will occur before this plus, and that's not what we want. Right here we have uh, in the numerator, we have all this stuff. And that, that entire numerator is the thing that's divided by 2. So we're going to actually need to introduce a set of parentheses like that. Okay, So that would be one of the solutions. And again, spaces don't matter. So you could remove spaces if you want. Or if it helps you visualize, you can add a little space. But it doesn't really matter. Um, then the point is, um, I like to you know copy this, paste. And uh, the other solution here has just a minus sign. If we go back to the instructions on the web, it said that we should take more than one answer and separate them by commas. <coughs> That's usually the case. So here we have the two different solutions. I mean, notice what I did, right? So uh, just copied the first solution and just pasted and modified just by one character to get the other solution. Now there's the two solutions separated by a comma. We can now take this entire thing, copy that in the clipboard with a control C, go back to the web, and then right here, paste in that answer. Okay. And it's hard to see, in fact, both of the answers right here, but th they're here, they're separated by a comma. And you can click Submit. And if this answer is correct, you actually see a preview of what that looks like. Actually, just by leaving our mouse over, we see that these expressions would have simplified to just positive 7 and negative 2. But that's, that's fine. You don't have to simplify in web work. And this green uh, bar across the top here is telling you that you have done the problem correctly and have earned credit. That's what this 100% there is about.